भजन संगीता नाइनटी सिक्स हम पढ़ेंगे शाम नाइनटी सिक्स शाम नाइनटी सिक्स एक पूरा हम पढ़ेंगे लोगों के लिए एक नया गीत गाओ ये सारी पृथ्वी के लोगों यहोवा के लिए गाओ यहोवा के लिए गाओ उसके नाम को धन्य कहो दिन प्रतिदिन उसके किए हुए उद्धार का शुभ समाचार सुनाते रहो अन्य जातियों में उसकी महिमा का और देश देश के लोगों में उसके आश्चर्य कर्मों का वर्णन करो क्योंकि यहोवा महान और अति सुख के योग्य है मैं सब देवताओं से अधिक भय योग्य है क्योंकि देश देश के सब देवता तो होते ही है परंतु यहोवा ही ने स्वयं को बनाया है उसके चारों ओर का वैभव और ऐश्वर्य है उसके चारों ओर वैभव और ऐश्वर्य है उसके पवित्र स्थान में सामर्थ्य और शोभा है देश देश के कुल के लोग के कुल के लोगों यहोवा का गुणानुवाद करो यहोवा की महिमा और सामर्थ्य को मानो यहोवा के नाम की ऐसी महिमा करो जो उसके योग्य है भेंट लेकर उसके आंगनों में आओ पवित्रता से शोभायमान होकर यहोवा को धनबाद करो ये सारी पृथ्वी के लोगों उसके सामने कांपते रहो जाति जाति में कहो राज यहोवा राजा हुआ है और जगत ऐसा स्थिर है कि वह टलने का नहीं वह देश देश के लोगों का न्याय कराए से करेगा आकाश आनंद करे और पृथ्वी मगन हो समुद्र और उसमें की सब वस्तुएं गरज उठे मैदान और जो कुछ उसमें है वह प्रफुल्लित हो उसी समय बन के सारे वृक्ष जय जयकार करेंगे यह यहुआ के सामने हो क्योंकि वह आने वाला है वह पृथ्वी का न्याय करने को आने वाला है वह धर्म से जगत का और सच्चाई से देश देश के लोगों का न्याय करेगा ये पूरा शाम आराधना से जोड़ा हुआ ऐसा कुछ जो भजन है इट इज कंप्लीटली फ्रायर so what is prayer what is worship somebody said prayer is talking to god about us hamare bare mein ishwar ko bolna hai prarthana hamare bare mein mere bare mein aapke bare mein jaake ishwar ko bolna ये है प्रेयर प्रेयर इज बी टॉक टू गॉड अबाउट अस अबाउट आवर सेल्स बट वट इज प्रीचिंग प्रीचिंग इज टॉकिंग टू पीपल अबाउट गॉड मनुष्यों को ईश्वर के बारे में बोलना है प्रीचिंग ईश्वर कौन है ईश्वर क्या कर सकता है ईश्वर का क्या जरूरत है उसके बारे में लोगों को बताना देन वर्शिप वर्शिप इज टॉकिंग टू गॉड अबाउट गॉड ईश्वर के बारे में हम ईश्वर को बता रहे वो है वर्शिप अभी एक दृष्टांत में दे रहा हूं एक आदमी पानी में डूब रहा था मैन एज वन एन द वाटर एंड He was uh, drowning. So naturally, what he will say? Save me, save me. Okay, that is prayer. Okay. Somebody who was going through that way heard that cry and jumped into the water and saved him. And uh, after he became fully conscious, uh, this man uh, stood there and you know helped him. to recover from the difficulties then uh, when this man came to the drowning man came to full consciousness he looked at the savior and said sir thank you very much if you didn't come if you didn't uh, you know volunteer yourself to save me i would have died died there and i am very thankful to you very grateful to you. That is thanking. 
then uh, this man said do one thing one day you come to my home after two three days please come to my home so he went to see him this is uh, this story is written in a book known as worship by ap jims uh, he has written a book about worship probably that is one of the best book which is available about worship we can get the copy uh, probably the bombay gls republish date it is available next time when i go to bombay i will try to get it because it's one of the very best book which can teach us what is worship so this uh, man who was drowning in the water who is being saved this man saved by this man when to meet him when he went there he saw the gate and such a big gate kerala recently one man built his gate 50 lakhs rupees you to you know it is available 50 lakhs rupees were his gate okay he thought you know if gate is like this how big this man will be he went inside he saw the garden and uh, the beautiful palace like building where he lives then he was invited inside he so uh, invited to have a meal together then what all was kept on the table by seeing things one after another this man was you know thinking about the man who saved him oh how big he is such a big man took this difficulty and came to save me he started appreciating and uh, he didn't have much words to say what do you see how big is this man who saved him that is worship so appreciating and uh, acknowledging recognizing realizing the greatness of the savior that is worship so here in this psalm several times you read that word give verse seven give to the lord o families of the people give to the lord glory and strength verse eight give to the lord the glory due to his name bring an offering worship the lord in the beauty of holiness so here you know saying give 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 in prayer the opposite is happening what is that in this word of saying give to the lord <coughs> oh lord give me this give me that and generally our prayer is very brief we want god to do three four things one god should be our a policeman he should do the work of a policeman wherever we go he should give us security okay policeman secondly god must do the job of a bank whenever we have some financial problem we should uh, immediately get the money okay uh, bank us job then thirdly of course we want uh, god to be a physician a good doctor huh? to you know if god is able to uh, prevent us from sickness we all will be very happy and uh, or when we become sick we want the doctor to do immediately uh, heal us from all the problems these are two three jobs we want to give to god and people most of the people go to god for these things so god will do all these things god is ready to do all these things god can protect you in this world god can heal you god can meet your financial problems god can help you bless you all these things 
but primarily we don't need god for these things that is what we need to understand so generally we go to god and say that oh god give this give that like that one man was you know wanted his daughter to be a doctor okay and uh, when she did not get the admission he asked me the question uh, question is this why god did not hear our prayer that was the question what was the prayer what was the prayer make my daughter a doctor did god tell anybody all the believers children are going to be doctors god did not i asked him did god promise before you that that you this child is going to be a doctor one day you do not know what is god's plan for her you have to accept what is god's plan for us so my son had was the first rank student from his school, school almost you know those days 90 plus or almost every subject but instead of uh, sending him to engineering because i didn't have money i sent him to this uh, saint xavier's or bsc that time my son asked me daddy do you understand what is the difference between bsc and engineering i said i don't know but i tell you god can bless bsc also i told him that day i just uh, said uh, suddenly it came to my mind we were you know just you know sort of debating here then i asked uh, what qualification joseph had to become the prime minister of egypt what qualification daniel had of course he was a brilliant man in a foreign land become the prime minister what qualification david had what qualification mordecai had what qualification esther had what qualification ruth had none of them had any qualification but they became great people in the world that god is our god he can do it for you that is what i told him that day and uh, then the next few years i had to pray continuously and praise god for all what god did so what i want to say you and i have to accept what god gives and god can bless bsc god can bless bcom god can bless uh, and fail yesterday i was hearing a testimony of a man a hindu convert kerala a carpenter studied only up to 7th standard i am multi millionaire in uh, muscat having his own company and uh, you know pastoring a church and uh, doing very well how can a seven standard man do so many things in a foreign country having a big company of his own and uh, many people are employed how is it possible all things are possible with god so god is not only needed in our life to do the work of a doctor or a banker or a policeman we need god more than all these things we are not after god to get these things more than that so we need to learn to give to god so the psalmist says give 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 to god so when we come to uh, together on sundays the first part of our meeting is giving to the lord giving to the lord then we will uh, receive from the lord so we have two parts in our meeting first part is giving to the lord giving praises and thanks to god worshiping god that is the first part so in a good worship meeting we will exalt christ we will see little later we will exalt christ christ will be present in that meeting 
when we see the lord jesus christ in our midst and worship him but the problem today in many meetings where is christ you just you know suddenly remembered a story this morning uh, in kerala one uh, grandfather's birthday celebration so all the grandchildren 80 years completed grandfather completed so grandchildren all came from foreign countries and they were all there after uh, coming when the day was approaching and uh, these children who came from abroad even parents uh, this old man son son and daughter in law they said you know lot of important people are coming you know our friends in gulf countries they are here you know they all will be coming but this old man doesn't know doesn't have proper manners he will you know clean his nose with fingers and you know use the lungi and he doesn't have good manners and he may spit here and there he doesn't have proper manners so where should he be that's the question whose birthday grandfather's birthday now the question is where we should accommodate him then said that the main hall he cannot sit he doesn't have proper manners so they said uh, come on let us uh, shift him to the upstairs then they said the people will go there there you know they will see him as he is that's not a good thing for us then finally they said you know then the outside there is a room come on take him there here biryani is eaten and lot of celebration balloons are there all kinds of things are there cake cutting is there where is the grandfather <laughs> this is what is happening singing is there you know dancing is there lot of noise is there where is christ where is the lamb where is jesus christ in the uh, seven letters in the book of revelation in the last book chapter 3 verse 20 what do we read there what do we read there read revelation 320 behold i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door i will come in to him okay jesus is standing outside the church knocking at the door here you know inside lot of meeting is going on lot of big big things are going on christ is not in their midst how sad it is Mary and Joseph were returning from Jerusalem. They didn't know that Jesus is not with them. Yes, in our uh, Christian journey, in our Christian meeting, we should make doubly sure that Jesus is with us. God is with us. God's presence is there. God is with us. God is not very far. God is moving with us. God is present with us. so that is uh, very important so jesus should be present so today we are going to see few things about uh, worship and uh, the first question what is worship the word which is used in the greek language for worship eh Leslie will be knowing the Greek. Proskuno. Proskuno means prostrate like a kuno. Kuno means dog. Falling before its master. As the dog is falling before its master. No, there are uh, many street dogs here. Now the number is getting reduced. One dog is little friendly with me. and uh, three months i was not here but you know when after three months when i came and uh, morning when i was about to go to buy the milk 
this dog was standing somewhere there. It ran towards me. Then you know it came and you know bowed before me. I was amazed. You know, I was telling my wife, see this animal. After three months, it was standing at a distance, ran towards me and bowing and you know showing respect to me. That is worship. You know, a dog, you know, when it sees you, you know, why people like dogs? In the Bible, there it is saying, beware of dogs. Why people like dogs? One of the most faithful animals in the world is the dog. So faithful it is. And uh, its love for its master, if it is well trained, how it can help? Kerala, there was a dog. The master says, no, go inside and get my specs. That will bring. Go and get the newspaper, it will bring. And uh, it can understand. Because it is trained very well. So it's a very useful animal. But what I want to say, as it is grateful to its master, as it is honoring its master, Bowing before its master, that is worship. So, first thing, what is worship? You can break bread without worshipping God. You can sing song without worshipping God. You can share from God's word without worshipping God. Many things you can do. Towards the end, I will come and uh, show you what is the connection between this Lord's table and worship. Why the Lord's table is important? That I will see, show you later. But the danger is you can worship, God, uh, you can break bread without worshiping. You can sing songs without worshiping. Your hearts may be miles away because we like the tune, we know the song, we may sing. But whether our hearts, our mind is fully in it, that is another thing. Somebody said, Christians don't speak lies, but Sundays, they will go to the church and sing it. Did you get it? Christian don't speak lies, but Sundays they go to the church and sing it. What does it mean? Christians do not say anything. Every day they go to church and sing it. The meaning is वो गाना को हमारे साथ कुछ संबंध नहीं है वो हम गाते हैं पर वो एक गाना है इंग्लिश में आई एम आई एम आई डेफिनेटली डोंट सिंग आई सरेंडर रोल गाना गाते हैं आई सरेंडर रोल आई सरेंडर एवरीथिंग है व्हाट यू सरेंडर इफ यू डोंट यूज दैट वर्ड ऑल आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम आई कैन नॉट सिंग देयर आर एरियाज आई एम नॉट फुल्ली सरेंडर्ड there are kind of problems in my life. There are areas in my life. So, when we sing song, we should understand what is written in that. What is the meaning of that song? Many songs which is uh, saying, you know, there is, a, there is another Malayalam song, I am ready to go for you anywhere and everywhere. Eh? He will not move out of his house. He is saying that I am ready to become anything. I am ready to sacrifice anything. I am ready to go any distance. But uh, song is something if we don't sing seriously, we don't understand the song and its meaning, we are playing hypocrisy. So let us be more careful when we sing. Okay. So 
you can uh, pray without worshiping god you can break bread without worshiping god you can uh, sing song without worshiping god but when we break bread we should worship god and uh, we should uh, see the love of god what god did what is this wonderful salvation program of god that we see again and again when we every time when we break bread okay so what is worship acknowledging the greatness of god what a big god is this so when i accepted christ i did know much about christ that night only one thing needed the question was if i die today today how can i go to heaven who will take me to heaven who will deliver me from hell i deserve hell who can deliver me from hell so if anybody ask me why did you accept christ the answer is very simple what is that i wanted to go to heaven i wanted my sins to be forgiven i wanted to know who can forgive my sins and take me to heaven when i finally realized this christ alone can save me i accepted it but you know slowly i started learning about christ and the more i learned the more i appreciated how great this christ is how unique he is how wonderful this christ is so the more you understand christ the more you praise him you appreciate him that is what worship is second question is why worship why worship the man is basically a worship if you don't worship god your creator and your savior your provider you will worship somebody somebody else or something else so in navamadbad probably 10 years before we used to get uh, the water which was available here not the present uh, narmada water i don't know in what all areas the narmada water reaches uh, 10 years before it reached here immediately we have taken the connection because we were drinking this salty bitter water when we came from kerala it was very difficult to drink that so we had to boil water and you know not to you know not because we wanted hot water even in the heavy summer we used to drink the hot water because by putting some jeera its taste can be changed that was the only reason okay but you know what i want to say is this when the narmada water was not available we were drinking that the other water which was available you do not know who is the true god who is the creator who is the savior who is the provider then you will worship something else that is definite the man is basically a worship don't tell man to worship because he will automatically do what all people worship romans chapter 1 instead of worshiping god what happened creation romans chapter 1 21 22 because although they knew god they did not glorify him as god nor were thankful but became futile in their thoughts their foolish hearts were darkened promising themselves to be wise they became fools verse 23 and change the glory of the incorruptible god into an image made like corruptible man birds and four-footed animals and creeping things what all men worship they start a worshiping man king eh? kings were worship or a great people were worship then 
what did they do again come down then uh, they started worshiping birds birds which can fly in the sky they started worshiping birds then what did they do they started worshiping four footed animals then uh, creeping things snakes creeping things they started worshiping. no man was going down and down instead of worshiping his creator he became a fool and started worshiping the creatures that is what is happening you know why i said that man cannot live without worshiping you know this uh, today you know people will take uh, their use their mobile and take a photo say what is it called their own photos selfie selfie, selfie. selfie. okay i was sorry you know sometimes horrified you know how many selfies they are taking and you know seeing and they are worshiping themselves and then you know some of these people you know in the mobile you can see every day they will change their photo every day they will change what photo it is called display picture eh? display picture oh display picture okay every day they change every day they change okay and they want to see others also they became more beautiful or not and uh, they are worshiping themselves and then people worship many other things okay if you love anything more than god you will automatically worship them in the bible very clearly told what did jesus say matthew's gospel chapter 10 if you love your son or daughter more than me let us read that verse matthew 10 man was treated so badly a vessel was kept there it is not washed properly every time the daughter in law will take food and you know put it in that vessel and he has to wash and keep it he will not wash properly also. and then he died fortunately uh, fortunately for that lady okay or for him anyway he died then uh, finally everything was cleaned up you know this vessel was picked up by the daughter in law she wanted to destroy this then her son said her son said keep it keep it tomorrow even you become old i need that vessel then eh? what this boy understood when people become old they need uh, such kind of such standard uh, you know vessels to give food to them that is the way to treat old people tomorrow when you become old i will feed you in this same vessel so what i want to say is the word of god is not saying that you should not love your father or mother but uh, the 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 difference is this if you love your father or mother more than me he is not worthy of you so when jesus was inviting people to follow him one man said let me just go and first bury my father let me go and bury my father what does it mean what uh, jesus replied to him let the dead bury their dead one pastor was interpreting that and he said olden times people were so healthy and even a dead person can come back and you know bury other people but pastor said no what it what does it mean then the then the dead bury their dead 
What does it mean? A spiritually dead person can bury a physically dead person. You don't have to wait for that. You go and preach the kingdom of God. That somebody else will take care of. You know, in the world there is no time. Single dead body, unburied. Somebody will come. Somebody will come. If nobody comes, municipality will come. Eh? We are difficult beasts at a, you know, different times. The burying the dead, it was a big problem, big challenge. No. When people, you know, ask me, where you will bury your dead? I said, God will take care of There may be problem, there may be difficulty, but God will open some way. I am sure somebody will come for our but you know, one man, you know, one husband and wife, uh, every time they used to meet me, they will ask this question. Who will marry our children? Who will bury us tomorrow? They said, you are going to die immediately. <laughs> now, some people are concerned about that. They are you know, concerned about where their body will be buried. They are not worried. Where we will go? The real you will go where you will go. That is not their concern. We should be concerned about that. So God is saying, if you love your father or mother more than me, and uh, we should examine our life, whether I love God more than my children, whether I love God more than my parents, that's very important. That's a test. No, when I was leaving Kerala, my father pleaded with me. He told me that I am an old man. You stay with me until I die. Okay. He lived 15 more years. I said, no. We will make some arrangements. God will take care of you. But I have to go. I am going. I want to go. Then came a time. When I had to sell my property to buy this house, some people are going to misunderstand the church has bought this house for me. Be it corrected today, once again. Eh? I never ask anybody any money. I asked the Lord, what should I do? The Lord said, you go to Kerala and sell your property. I went there, my father had said, nothing doing. My father was not like the prodigal son's father. <laughs> What did the prodigal son's uh, father do? He asked for it and he gave. That is a mistake of me. Okay. My father said nothing to him. You know what he said? After my death, you can take your share. I have no problem. But as long as I am alive, no chance. But I started going after him again and again. I said, uh, I am not able to pay the rent. Rent is very high. Then there is hardly any money to feed my children. So please have mercy on me. Understand my situation. <laughs> and finally he said, okay, I am ready. So what I wanted to say, then that was another test. Hmm? So whether I will sell that off, sell it off or not. So God wants to check it. Whether we love him more than everything else in the world. So, if you are a true worshipper, you will love God more than everything else. You should be able to put your hand on the chest and say, yes, my God is more important to me. He is more precious to me than everybody else in the world. We should be able to say. So, God deserves worship. No. Many years before, when this sofa was made, some 25 years before, 26 years before, the carpenter man who was making it, then, you know, after he will go there and stand there and look at this. I don't know what, what he was seeing. Then he will do some corrections and all these things he was doing. No, he was appreciating as well. Okay. So, when you look at the creation, when you see all the arrangements, the order, and the designs, whom will you thank? Thank whom will you thank? The water arrangement. You know, water alone, you think. 
the water which came during this rainy season from where it came arabian sea what kind of water it is there salty bitter water and god has evaporated it and uh, took it high then fall in uh, blew it in the air and it was brought directly to my house or uh, to the need of the people that is what god is doing who can do this water arrangement you know air arrangement food arrangement i was over and wondering if somebody comes to our home staying a few days you know after a few days we will become little uncomfortable okay and uh, it is quite natural there is a story in kerala about uh, giving two eggs out of that okay we are ready one man you know when to stay in a house and uh, he prolonged his stay so every day they used to give him one egg then uh, finally one day they gave two eggs then the man asked why two eggs today said anybody is after staying in our home on the day they go back they will give you two eggs <laughs> okay so so it's a burden for us no ambani can feed how many people suppose ambani decides i am going to feed all the people in bombay believe me he cannot but god is feeding on people all over the world and you know from where the food is coming every year it is all stored here when thousands of years before when it was created it is in dust form god brings it out from this earth through the trees and plants using the human intelligence god is bringing out what a god he is how much we should praise him how much we should appreciate him how should uh, we should uh, be thankful to him for all these arrangements okay uh, time is up so i have to stop here uh, god deserves worship and uh, god alone is worthy for worship he provided all these things for us so two things we have seen what is worship why worship why we need to worship god god is a worship he did so many things so great things god provided everything god created us god takes care of us and uh, god made arrangements for our salvation so god uh, deserves worship so let us take seriously the worshiping of god let us be true worshipers of god in the days to come may the lord bless us shall we pray for our father we thank you for all the help you received thank you for gathering us together this morning thank you for helping us to remember the lord jesus christ through the breaking of bread thank you for his sacrifice there on the cross of calvary Jesus did not come into this world as a visitor or as a tourist. He came as a savior. He came to die for us. He gave his very life for us. Jesus is alive. Jesus saved us. He is sustaining us day by day, moment by moment in this difficult world. And uh, in the future, he is there to receive us into his eternal kingdom. We are uh, greatly anticipating is return thank you for all those who anticipate the return of christ love the appearance of christ we praise god for each of you we thank you for every brother and sister who came this morning we commit each of them to you lord take care of your children and bless them bless their life whatever is their difficulty whatever is their problem god's help may be given god's presence may be experience they may love the lord more than everything else in the world god may be the most important person in their life they may give him 
in the rightful place in each of their lives. So we commit all of them to you. Pray for others who could not join us, be with them and help them. Very especially pray for Deepthi, be with her and help her. You are complete recovery and God's name may be glorified. We pray for uh, Spurgeon who will be appearing for his exam. God may give him enough memory power, enough uh, ability to write the exam in the most appropriate way so that his future may be blessed. We pray for all uh, the other believers who are not here with us, be with them and help them in the respective places. God may take care of. As we are, uh, we have entered into this new week, Lord help each one of us. When we are at home, when we go to office or our workplace and go, uh, due to various responsibility, we move around the city, protect each one of us from all wicked and evil people and also from satanic attack and all the uh, dangers and difficulties and sickness, it is all there. So protect each one of us. Thank you for giving us one more opportunity like this to come together, take care of each one of us. Let this week be a blessed week for each one of us. Day by day, moment by moment, we may experience the presence of God, the, the blessings of God, the guidance of God, the protection of God, the, the power of God in every area of God. Take care of us. Giving your thanks and ask us prayer in the worthy and precious name of God. The Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.